I'm joined by Jeroen Wilbrink, a director of the ALM team at FNC. Jeroen, have any particular issues complicated LDI over recent months? Who? Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of variables you should, you should consider, both quantitative and qualitative. I mean, uh, quantitative very easily, uh, solvency of the fund, uh, 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 age of the members, uh, strength of the corporate sponsor. Uh, and also, it's a fast-moving world, and we didn't want to just be complacent and stick with what we had because it was comfortable. We were challenging our thinking. It's not just a question for BP, it's a question for the oil and gas industry as a whole. And as I said at the outset, I think investors are going to be asking some hard questions about how the risk profile in the industry needs to be examined. You can reduce your total expense ratio in certain portfolios to 50 or 60 basis points. It, it really is uniquely competitive. And that includes, by the way, all of the platform charges. The vast majority of hedge funds, 95, 99%, are really serious managers that have come out that are trying to produce decent risk-adjusted return. Well, I suppose let's look back 10 years. Um, up to 2007, the property market was, was booming. Values were increasing, underlying income was increasing. However, that all changed in 2007. So you'll get a, a group of, of sort of investment, retirement-focused IFAs that will become more discretionary in nature. Strong asset management brand who have integrated two other key UK asset managers over the past few years. So it's not only uh, an IFA recognises, uh, the advisors recognise the name, but additionally the clients do as well. It's up on that I think from their marketing and then their performance started to go off as well and then having lost their way they, they just never really seem to get a handle on how they would sort of re reinvigorate themselves within uh, the advisor market. We only really use one of their funds, or I only use one of their funds regularly, and that's their property fund.